to see if I can drop a ball from a drone. Dude, I'm like, I'm dripping. I'm numb to seeing crazy numbers on TikTok. Welcome to the show where we discuss the silver chickens of Narnia. We're not going to discuss the silver chickens of Narnia today. Actually, I just saw this clip of XQC. Mental, by the way. He was essentially showing his calendar, like I think a four-year calendar, of all the days that he showed up on stream. Now, it's either it's binary, so it's like a you did show up or you didn't show up. You did stream or you didn't stream. And it's like, it literally looks like 90% of the days of the year he streams. And the whole video is around the idea that success is about luck. Now, I do agree with that idea that success is about luck, but you'll never be in that position to, and this is what XQC is saying, you'll never be in that position to receive that luck if you're not there showing up every day. Like you might see someone else succeed, you think, oh, like let's say this, let's say Charlie D'Amelio, right? Like unreal numbers of followers and all she's doing is just dancing on TikTok. And you're like, oh, dude, I could do that. But what you don't, you didn't do that. You weren't there, you weren't doing that, you weren't, putting in the time to learn the dances. You didn't have faith in yourself to push yourself toward where you think you're going to be. Either you just didn't start because of some made up excuse or you gave up because you're like, oh, it's not gonna happen. And so even if that luck comes down, you're not getting it. Now it sounds like I'm attacking you. <laughs> I don't mean it like that unless you're giving up on what you want to do and you're complaining and blaming everyone else and playing the victim. There is nothing, I don't think there's anything more in this world that I dislike than someone who plays the victim. Like get out of your head, get out of your situation and do something about changing it. Hello, Motivational Tuesday. Wow, we. Yeah, I think you'll find that the people who are successful have one thing in common, and it's that they show up. You might, like I, even I look at some of the people who've made it big that you, you take one look at and you're like, you're doing well in life? You suck. You literally suck as a person, as everything. And yet, why are they doing well? It's because they show up. They do the things that nobody wants. I don't, know, I don't know where I'm going with that. I'll tell you, when I started doing these videos, we're currently still at ground zero with these videos. The marketing plan hasn't gone into effect. Today is the final day. We're getting our first batch of files for the marketing. Today is like day one of that, and I'm filming day 32 of this at the moment. Now, day one, I had this idea, like I, I, it came up in my mind, it was like, all right, well, you really need to take action on your plan of these kind of videos, just kind of like turn the camera on and see what happens. And it was three o'clock, I think I've told this story before, but it was three o'clock on whatever day. And I was like, ah, okay, all right, well, let's just start tomorrow, I'll turn the camera on. And I was like, that, I remember like, something clicked in my mind. It was like, that is what would stop me from getting where I want to be. That kind of mindset that it can wait until tomorrow. So I, I just turned on the camera, started planning out a video, which is what I was planning on doing in the last hour of the day. And here we are, 32 days later, still doing it. And younger Oliver, and I think the majority of people will look at, you know, coming up on day 32 of, of making an hour and a half, two hour videos, spending an hour to an hour and a half each morning, you know, doing those minor editing. I think most people would be like, oh, and I'm only getting like 10 or one view a video. 
like, F this, I've got to do something different, or I'm not doing this anymore, this is a joke. But from experience, I don't see it that way anymore. And this is, I'm, I'm saying, I don't see it, so this is the kind of the thing that I'm passing on to you, which is, I think we need to tweak our mindset and like think deeper about things people tell us. So I grew up, we're gonna take a slight tangent here, but still on the same note. Growing up, like, so I was born in 91, seems archaic, but born in 91, a career, like making money and living the life you want to live was about going to, you know, doing well in school, going to college, university, and then getting a nine to five job and then you just push yourself up the ranks. That was what success looked like and then you did what you wanted to do outside of work in the few hours in the evening and the few hours at weekend, at weekends, and then you take your vacation time to go and travel. That was, that was life, that was what was set out. But then like there was, you know, a couple of what you would, I guess like canon events in there that changed the way I think, way I thought, the way I think. And being in my position, yeah, there's, there's stress and you don't have the steady paycheck coming in each month, but I'm spending my days doing what I enjoy. And I know this is, this all seems like I'm just talking about me and I, the whole thing is talking about me. But my hope is that by sharing my experiences and my thoughts, you or someone listens to this and you're like, yeah, like I get that. It's my time. I'm going to start on what I wanted to do today. All right. Showers in the gym were broken. Toilets in the gym were broken. So that's why I look like a, again, a scabby drown rat. So chat GPT, I also saw have done something amazing. So when we get inside, let's talk about that. A greetings again. <laughs> I, uh, okay. So I spent most of the day editing the no poo video, but we got that up and it seems to be doing pretty well so far. Uh, but it also means that the calendar for the day was shot. The chat GPT thing I just mentioned, they're called AI agents, I think. So this, this is the guy's video that I saw. Let's just watch it together. OpenAI just announced their latest breakthrough innovation, AI agents, they're calling them GPTs. These are tailored versions of ChatGPT designed for specific use cases. But here's what's crazy. I think these agents will have a bigger impact on the world than the original version of ChatGPT. Think of these agents kind of like apps on your phone. Uber lets you call a car, FaceTime lets you call a friend. GPTs are the next generation of apps, but with AI superpowers. Here's a Canva GPT that lets you design posters just by chatting with them. You don't need to know how to use Canva or even design principles. You just need to know how to type into a computer. Now the craziest example I saw was using Zapier to connect 6,000 apps together. Gmail, Slack, Calendar, everything that you use every single day. So GPTs become your one command center for everything. There'll be no need to even open other websites. But here's the craziest part of all. OpenAI designed GPTs so they can be built without needing to code. All you have to do is have a chat conversation with the builder and you'll have a new GPT in minutes. Now if you've been playing with ChatGPT for a while, you'll know that OpenAI already launched plugins. Well, think of GPTs like the next generation of plugins, but way easier to build and improve without needing code. It's gonna open up the ability for customizing AI to everyone. Now, OpenAI is planning to launch their GPT app store soon, and it's gonna offer a revenue share to the people that build the most popular GPTs. It's gonna be a huge money-making opportunity for early adopters. I think this is the moment where AI applications get extremely useful extremely quickly. I'd pay attention to this. I don't, if, if, if you haven't listened to that and been like, holy hell, then, and I don't mean this in a condescending way, then it probably means that you don't really understand what this could mean. It's, it's just, it's unreal. So, um, here's something that I'm thinking. The social automations piece that I've been trying to work on. Currently, 
like here's the the sorry for the frame the workflow is of such i export my files i upload them to a google drive folder someone pulls them from that google drive folder edits them puts them back into another folder from that folder a zapier automation zapier automation picks up the file at specific times of the day posts it to the different social media channels that are set up and then moves that file to a different folder so it doesn't get reposted again. That's so many pieces, but imagine if you could have one AI app that takes the video, the original video, cuts the clips out that you want, which that part is a long way off yet, cuts out the clips you want, edits them the way you want them, posts them to the appropriate Google Drive folder, and then the next step of the automation is that it pulls it then to post to a new platform. But like the, the way I'm thinking about this is, if you create that, that is now a, like an app basically that you can sell. So you are, excuse me, dominating the whole social, I'm so sorry about this position. <laughs> You're then, if you can make that cheap and easily accessible, easy to set up, dude, you are dominating. You'll be generating so much revenue in the social media space, it's, it won't even be funny. So I'm gonna be looking for someone who can do that and build that now. I'll do a bit of research into it, but yeah, this is nuts. As for my social automations piece, it's posting the videos, but at random times. I guess I don't really care at what times the videos post, just as long as they're not all at once and it just doesn't work. So they're posting at random times. I don't know what to... Oh. I'm going to stretch forward. I don't know what to do with it. The guy, yeah, I just don't think he knows what he's doing, which is unfortunate. Okay, the daily planner that I made at the end of last video, yeah, kind of shot out the window. But we got two videos approved, two uh, concepts approved last night for me to start filming the video. Videos. So it's a power bank, like a big power bank, the first concept that I proposed was it's meant to be really fast charging. So what was it? Oh, oh yeah, that's right. It's meant to charge in just under an hour. And I wanted to see if I could solve a Rubik's Cube in under an hour. So it'd be like a, a race against time. But they you know, weren't massive fans of that. They actually, if I'm honest, I was quite impressed by this. They came back with a really, really good idea. Uh, but unfortunately, the budget for the video just doesn't allow for that to take place. I did propose back that, you know, if you want to increase the budget, I can make this one happen. Well, I'm so good, I can make it happen. So then I pitched another video, which is dropping a football, like a soccer ball from a drone and trying to catch it on my foot, which is very similar to a video I did where I I covered my boot in Velcro, so my cleat in Velcro. I kicked the ball as high as I could and then tried to catch it on my foot. I'll link that video below. So yeah, they approved that video and then this, the next video was um, staying in an at-home sauna until the power runs out. Now this is kind of a, it's a win-win either way because if I need to, like, we need to plan that out, but if, watch way around am I thinking about this? If the video, no. <sighs> Let's say the battery pack lasts for like five hours. Obviously I'm not gonna stay in a sauna for five hours. So then I would fall back on the, like whatever, the internet says is a safe amount of time to spend in a sauna, I'll fall back on that. 
but it's going to be pretty fun to have that just a pop-up sauna in my house. And I'm also thinking about making that a, a five day thing of like going in the sauna each day and seeing how it affects me throughout the week. So yeah, I'm, um, we're going to plan at least one of those out. I'm just thinking, I, I found a dude that made the, um, the note down automation, the automation on your, I'll show you it. Hey Siri, note down. Find the best feet pics in all of Kansas City. Cool, done. So then I just go, I just, I'm just going to my notes. I was on a different one. And then this, um, this file, like this note gets created each day with the title inside of a folder that I set. And then for every time I use that command, like note down, it creates a new line item. So then I have a load of things to talk about throughout the day without having to stop and take a note of things. I'm a big fan of that. I am a big fan of that. Oh, baby. I don't know what to tell you other than if you're getting, like I'm 32, and I would say once I hit the 30-ish mark, I started to notice that, like, it's not like things were getting harder. It was that they, I guess it means this, but they weren't as easy as they used to be. Like, kneeling down felt more uncomfortable. I think that's the word I'm looking for. It wasn't as comfortable. So I started stretching like this every day. Most of the time I do it at the gym. And oh my goodness. The difference is amazing. I highly recommend just taking like 10 minutes a day and going through these stretches. Okay, let me see how the video is doing. Oh. <laughs> my feet are a bit dirty. Feel a bit dirty. Um, you know what I don't know how to do very well? Is how do I market this YouTube channel on my TikTok? Like how do I get my followers on TikTok to be interested in this? All right, should we get straight into, let's do the sauna. Oh no. We've literally, if I look at the weather now, it's nice today, nice tomorrow, but then it drops pretty chilly the next few days, the next week or so. Oh no, it comes up again. But I'm thinking I get the dropping the ball from a drone set up first, that video set, and then I can film that tomorrow while it's nice out. I need to see if my drone can actually lift the ball, but I also live in a no-fly zone. It's really annoying, I literally have to drive like I could skateboard to the park. Should we go and skate to the park right now? It's quite nice out. And just see if we can lift the ball. 
Oh yeah. Let's uh, try that. Let me get ready. I have no idea if you can hear me on this, but this is mental, right? It's two o'clock on a Tuesday and I'm just rollerblading to a park to see if I can drop a ball from a drone and I'm getting paid for it. I don't, like, I don't say that from a perspective of, wow, look at me. I say that from like, I've worked eight years for a moment like this. Eight years on top of another job for a moment like this and falling over. Oh, hi. Hey. Got to be respectful of the doggos as you go past. All right, we're here. Cross over the road. Nice little family with their kids here. Be ideal if I flew a drone into one of them. Oop. <laughs> All right, let me get set up. Here we are then. All right. So we have this contraptionado that fits onto the drone Leonardo. Is the recording? Good boy. So I forgot how this fits on. I need this. I think this goes this way around or that way around. I don't really know. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's strap you in, buddy boy. I have forgotten how. There, yes. All right, so then my thought process is, if I can, I think I need to figure out a slightly different solution. If I have a ball in here and then I think what I need to do is tie here, here, and then that attaches to the drone. I did bring the remote. I get a drone turned on. And then if I turn this on, The mechanism works. So I don't know why that's too surprising. It should work. Because I haven't used it before. Come on, you geode. Yes! Okay. So if that is Gucci. Like, just listen to the crap that comes out my mouth, if that's Gucci. Let me see, am I in shot? Brilliant. All right, there's a red, there's a red light on here, I don't know why. Oh, are you ready? No! How much more? All right. So the ball is too heavy, which means this is actually also filled with helium. You know, I need a thumbnail shot. So. Let me, let me do it again so I can get the thumbnail shot.
Okay, not ideal. All right, so what that tells me is, I imagine you could probably work it out too. I need a lighter ball. Daring it. Well, it looks like I need to research a bit. Like if not, then I just go for a smaller ball, I think. Like I've got one of those mini balls. I might have to try it with that. That would be bloody hard to catch on my foot. So we'll see where we go from here. Cause I'm, hopefully I can make this work. I don't really want to have to buy another drone. What am I talking about? I don't really have the budget for another drone. I'm not joking. The cost of what they're paying for this, unfortunately is so low that it wouldn't even cost, the whole budget wouldn't even cost, wouldn't even cover the cost of a drone. Like the drone that I would need. That's bad, isn't it? Well, I don't know if, you probably hear that statement. If you're not in the content world and like don't see it from a business perspective, you're probably like, dude, a drone's a lot of money. But from a business perspective, it doesn't make any sense at all. So that didn't work. I think we just, the only option now is go home Look for a new option, a new, a new lighter ball. How, oh, I should have bought. You know, I could probably just have Googled what is the maximum payload of this drone. That probably would have been better. Yeah, all right, let's uh, get some research in. This, jinkies, this idea, I just, I can't quite believe what I'm doing at this time of day. Feels good. Okay, enough of the nostalgia. I'll see you at home. Dude, I'm sweating like a porky little pig. Hello, Duda. Okay. Hi, Duda. Oh my. Just one second, sorry. Duda, are you licking me because I'm all salty? Hello. Okay, all right, this ball weighs, how much does this weigh, Duda? Oh, unit. I don't think we would measure it, we wouldn't measure it in milliliters, would we, Duda? Okay, this ball. 421 grams. So 421, Duda. What is the max payload? DJI Mavic 3 Mini Pro, I think is the drone. It says 500 grams, but it doesn't work, does it? That means it should have been able to lift 80 more grams. What if the... Um, propellers were causing so much down thrust inside the bag that it was inflating and that was that makes so much sense dude you've probably already you were probably watching that and being like nah this guy's so stupid <laughs> that was my like quick and dirty way to get this done dude, i'm like i'm dripping from skating okay so then let's look at lightest soccer ball um, high quality light soccer balls that's not 10 high quality training balls lightweight That's not what we want. Um, let's do lightweight soccer ball. Dude, what's up? 
Do you need to go out? Do you need to go out? Okay, all right. One minute. Okay, uh, so, <coughs> sorry, should probably figure that one out first. I found out that the, the ball that I've been using is actually 455 grams, but because it's got helium, that's taken off like 30 something grams. But I found another ball here that if I order in the next hour and nine minutes, it will arrive between four and eight tomorrow morning. That's kind of mental and it's already 4 p.m. <laughs> so, and that only weighs 0.28. So we're looking at almost, well, it's not quite, but about half, maybe two thirds of the weight. So that should be good. And then I just have to figure out a way to attach it to the drone. That I don't know yet. Honestly, I was thinking like a, <laughs> you know, command strips, command hooks that you stick on a wall and then you hang something on it. I was thinking one of those. But I'm not sure. I guess I could try and just tape down, like if I get some like duct tape, just tape down the string. Yeah. Like if I, oh shoot, I should charge that as well. This. If I like tape that down to the drone just really well, sorry, tape this part down to the ball, I think that's the way. Yeah. And then, just gonna get pretty similar to the script. Um, I think actually, like so I'll share something about brand partnerships is they'll typically, the process normally goes, they reach out because they like your content and more often than not, they'll ask for a concept to see if it will work. Um, but asking for a concept sometimes comes between, it comes before contracts are signed, it comes after the contracts are signed. Ideally, that would come after the contract is signed because you don't really want to be giving away your ideas, you don't want to be doing work before a contract is signed. So once they then approve the concept, which is just the idea, you then normally script it out, send that over and they can okay it and tweak certain things they want. But in this case, I'm not, I mean, I have a pretty general idea of what's gonna happen. Like it's, I'll go out, it'll take me quite a few times. Um, it'll drain the battery like crazy. So I'll have to charge up the battery using the power bank thing and then I can get back into it and then what will the major problem be hmm I just progress in height right yeah we just go up in height I think that's what we do Yeah. All right, so what that essentially means is I won't send a full script of how this is gonna go. I'll send just like tidbits of how I expect the video to go and where their product will link in and how. And like the one or two things that I'll mention about the product. That was kind of, I found that really fun. Just kind of, I actually, <laughs> going for a skate at, two o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon, instead of waiting till I'd finished work and then driving in the car over there, was actually a really, it sounds stupid, but it was a really big step for me because I've been stuck in this mindset that I stay at my desk between eight and four, nine and four, whatever, so that I can get work done. 
and now I'm like starting to change my mind. That was when I was working corporate job. But now that I'm starting to change my mindset, like I have the freedom to do the things I want to. Makes it that much sweeter. Also, the no poo video, doing very well right now. So it's been up for two hours and we're at 37.5K views. No sign of stopping, we like that. We, we like that a lot. Why is my room orange? Um, give me a second, give me a second. I'll get that ball ordered. Let's write down the key points. Yeah, let's do that on the board. Is that what I was doing? What? I wanted to plan out, plan out the hand and moisturizer for 24 hours, but I don't think I'm not gonna have to do that while I'm doing these other videos. So yeah, let's just do this. Um, all right. You know, actually something that's really, really cool. It's really nice to see that my manager and I had a, I think I did mention this yesterday, not I think. My manager and I had a chat about how, what is the best way to start reaching out to brands and stuff. And we came up with a process. And anyway, an email came through this morning and he responded, but he used all of the things that we talked about the day before. And it's really cool, like, I, I really don't wanna share, like, too much about, like, him and I's working relationship, because, like, he's not in these videos, it's not fair to him, which I feel like he'd be okay with it, but I don't think that's right. But basically what I'm saying is, it's really cool to see when you have a meaningful conversation with someone and they, like really start doing the things that you discussed and talked about. I think that's really good. <laughs> okay, this video, so we are drop ball from drone. Um, so the setup want, how did the Velcro video go? When the sky falls, um, here we go. Oh, so five, it's like half a million views. These are my Velcro football boots, and I'm going to see if they'll resurrect my football career. Little man. She once told me I have the ball control of a donkey, and losing the ball to my... See, like, that video, this part of the video is just, like, crazy made up and fabricated. that I don't think that's the direction I want to be going anymore. Like, so the want is, so the overall goal is, control, what? TikTok is ending its $2 billion creator fund. That's not good, let me, Let's just, I guess let's just read this. That would be not good. Okay. 
give me a second. Because essentially that then takes away from um, I was literally just saying yesterday that I'm in a position where I can just make more videos to make more money where needed, but this, let me start the recording. Okie dokie. TikTok is ending its two dollar being creative fund. Um, Oh, this is not the creativity program beta, which is what I'm in and what makes most money. This is just, they're, if I'm right, what the, this is literally like, this article is two paragraphs. The rest of it is ads. That is crazy. All right. TikTok is shutting down its $2 billion creator fund. The fund is intended to help support ambitious creators who are seeking opportunity to foster a livelihood through innovation. Yeah, this isn't. Let me Google TikTok creativity program beta. If, if that was what I thought it was, that would have been, it would have been really bad. Why are you not loading? to send him a voice message D dude you freaked me out with that message so that is the fund that like it, it, that pays pennies the one that i'm using which is for videos over a minute is the creativity program beta like that fund that's closing down i don't think anyone's gonna miss but you dude if that sh if that was the actual program that i use that would have taken out like at least 50% of my revenue for each month. <laughs> Dude, you freaked me out with that message. So that is the fund that, like, it, it, that pays pennies. The mo Okay, goodness me. That scared me. Um, I think... What was I saying? Oh yeah, the... One of the video is to control bull, control bull from, I've for some reason made from and drone all one word. I don't know where that's come from. So the want, sometimes I just go like crazy blank on these videos. The want is to, Catch a ball on my foot. Catch ball on foot from drone. So the point of no return is, I don't even, I think, I don't want to spend too much time on the actual, like getting the ball ready to get put in the air because no one cares about that, I don't think. What I think is, uh, point of no return is ball drops and I catch it. Catch it on foot. Right, but the catch is that uh, ball weight uses so much battery. So either that, or I could be like, 
I need it to be up from higher. Um, need to drop from. Okay, let me get a different pen. The bottom fell out. bad as I thought. I had this idea quite a few years ago now. So in my corporate world, I worked as a project manager and I spent a lot of time using this methodology called Agile. And there's a lot of things that you would do in Agile to help get a team set up. And so I had the idea of like, I would make a single package of all the things you need to be able to do some of these agile things. I bought the boxes, I bought the pens, I bought the post-its, I bought some other things too. Never got around to it. <laughs> I do think it would be really valuable, so perhaps it's something that I can do in the future. Um, so then I, Try from higher, try from higher, miss, miss once, get second time. Right? I'm thinking through how much, where's the earliest point that I can get the product into this video. Is the point of no return that I start dropping the ball or is the point of no return that I start getting a ball lifted up by the drone. What I mean by the point of no return is this is the point at which the viewer can really see that the person, the main character, me, is actually doing what the title suggested. See, the catch here is normally something to do with the person, the main character. So it like tests the floor. Um, but right now I've got it as just something random. The bull weight the weight of the ball uses so much battery. No. See, this is a video where I think it doesn't need all of the other, like how I change throughout the experience. It could literally just be like I get the ball in the air, I try it from these different heights, and then it finishes uh, as I go up to max height. So, what if. Drop a ball from drone at 50 feet. That's a long way, isn't it? Oh. 
I feel like trying to actually catch it on my foot is going to be so difficult. So what if I'm able to, I try to control the ball well enough that it stays within a small area? I like that idea a lot. Yeah, so control, uh, drop ball from drone at 50 feet. So the setup want is, can I, no, I'm thinking, can I get it to drop from a drone? No, because I don't want to drone at 10 feet. Yeah, because I, I feel like talking through the process of whether I can actually get the ball to hang from the drone is, one, it's too complicated to get through quickly, and two, who cares? Who cares that, like I wouldn't be doing the video if it wasn't possible, you know? So catch ball on foot from drone at 10 feet. Here we go. So. The crisis is can't catch ball, so I shift the goal. Oh wait, I can't catch the ball. So the climactic choice is like um, keep trying, give up, or uh, change the goal to control ball within an area. Control ball within small area. Cool, I like that, well done. All right, so the setup one to catch, prove that I can catch a ball from a drone at 10 feet. Prove I can catch the ball from at 10 feet. The ball drops and I catch it on the foot, great. But the problem is Um, oh gosh. Need to charge batteries. Like if I say I only have two batteries, What if I only have one battery? Yes. The catch is that I need to charge batteries. Oh no, it's the battery drained so fast. Okay, so then If the battery gets drained so fast, um, I'm not really sure how to link this up with a flaw and a strength yet. I'm kind of just spitballing. So I catch it on the foot, the batteries drain so fast. So I rush to try from higher, miss a few times, but I 
miss a few times. But get it before battery runs out. But get it before battery runs out. Okay. So then I need to I switch batteries. charge other oh battery drains so fast and I only have two batteries good okay so I switch batteries and switch batteries I charge other Um, catch ball again. I miss. Uh, catch ball. Oh, I try to catch ball. Try catching the ball again. Charge the other. So at this point is where I put in some brand info. And I think this is where I'll have a shot of me pulling it out the car. I don't know, that kind of seems, like, here's the thing is people can see this is a sponsored post. So obviously the video is gonna have something about a product in it. And it doesn't, it's like, it seems stupid and it seems almost, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Dishonest to pretend that, oh, now I need, I need to charge my batteries. Oh, thank goodness I have a massive portable battery pack in my car. No, I think I, I have it out already. I think that's more honest. Drains so fast and only have two. Like I could mention the product here, but I kind of want to keep this as a bigger issue. I have two. Battery drains so fast, I only have two but I can, mm. what if I'm like, I didn't think I'd need two. Like the batteries normally last 30 minutes. Yeah, but then I'm explaining so much that isn't actually me catching the ball on my foot. Maybe that's okay. That's not my normal style. Normally, I commentate the video as it goes forward to so everything that I'm doing. Oh man, let me turn on the light. Battery drains so fast, so I put my only other battery on charge. So I put my other battery on charge. So this does two things. It tells the person that I only have two batteries and it allows me to show the product. So I charged my other Charged other with Anchor Solix C1000. Oh my gosh, you just got a name of a product. Oh, what is that? All right, so 
I rush to try from higher, miss a few times, but I get it before the battery runs out. So I um, switch batteries and charge. And then I try to catch the ball. Rush to try from higher, let's say like 30 or 40 feet. Yeah. Because then this is just, it's too long of a, what am I trying to say? If I go through eat like 10 to 20 to 30 to 40 to 50, it's too long. So I tried, oh wait, tried to catch ball again at 50 feet. But the crisis is that I just can't catch the ball. Can't catch ball even after, let's just 50 tries. I'll actually insert the number of how many times it took me. So I can either give up, or I, but I changed the goal to control the ball within a small area. Yes. At 50 feet. All right. Um, I think the floor could be that I don't believe in myself. Yeah. So not confident. Uh, make my own confidence. Okay. So this is the, I don't know if this is interesting for you, but the payoff to this whole video. So like the whole point here is to really, you have the hook of the video, right? It's to hook someone and, and get them interested enough in the video. This, this part here, these three things, is to really get the viewer to get their teeth sunk in and be like, I cannot scroll from this because I need to see what happens. This is all entertainment part. So this section, yeah, this section here is entertainment. And then this section is the viewer asking themselves like, oh my gosh, like, I don't know if they can actually do this. Like, I think they should try this or this, but then my goal of it with the banana is to be like, that, you didn't see that one coming, did you? So now I tried this and I achieved whatever it was, or I didn't because of this. And like, it's okay to fail sometimes. Yeah, I think... Um, I keep trying, do I give up? No, I changed the goal to control the ball within a small area. That I much more confident with. I'm gonna change this section. And then the finale is obviously the, the few tries and being able to do it. Um, I think, I think there needs to be that change because If I just keep going with this and like try and actually catch it on my foot, then it's like, well, why do you make such a big fuss that it took you so long? 
Like, you did it. Like, so, change the goal to control the ball within a small area because that's more realistic. Realistic. Oh, no. What if that is to build up my confidence? To build my confidence. And then, so I do it. Do it. Pull battery of charger and try again able to do it nice but then how do I show that I'm not confident the catch so hit the thought that I have now is I can fit in here that I brought the product because I wasn't confident that I'd be able to do it. Like I, I knew that I would need more batteries. Um, not confident I could do it, so I brought the anchor, blah, 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 charger to charge my batteries out. I like that. Excuse me. I had a lid somewhere in my life, didn't I? Where'd it go? I heard it drop down through here. There it is. You old bat. All right, I'm going to sit on this for the evening. Then once I get Rugi down, she's at church or tonight or something. She's at church tonight. <laughs> Some kind of church group. And I will come back, preview what I've done and see if there are any tweaks to make and send that off so that they can hopefully approve it by tomorrow. Can't see why they wouldn't. I, ooh, how is this video doing? Okay, so notifications just like boomed up. Like a number of followers just spiked. So we're now at 64,000 views in three hours. It's crazy that I'm like, I'm almost numb to this feet. Such a dickhead thing to say. I'm numb to seeing crazy numbers on TikTok. I know that sounds stupid. I know that sounds so stupid, but like, Yeah, if a video doesn't do really well, like a million, it's it's when it crosses a couple of million for me that that feels like I get that like real dopamine hit from making content. Trust me, when I tell you that that sounds stupid to say, I know it sounds stupid to say. Like if you'd have told me two years ago, maybe like one and a half years ago, if you told me I would have been saying this, I'd be like, yeah, pull the other one. That means pull the other leg because it's not a joke. What is the phrase, pull the other one? Used to express a suspicion that one is being deceived or teased. Your boat was sunk by a swordfish. Pull the other one. What is the origin of the phrase? 
Oh, you're pulling my leg. To pull someone's leg means to tell them something false. Oh. Well, there you go. Interesting. Okay, I'm gonna order this ball, be here tomorrow morning, hopefully the script is approved, and we go shoot. I'm not gonna do my daily planner for tomorrow because it's just it's gonna be a write-off with getting this video shot. I imagine it's gonna take me a long time. Yeah, all right. If I can get the little man down and I get this done in time, I might play a bit of Fortnite, which you may see me in a few seconds, you may not. If not, ta see you tomorrow.